Hey, what's up here? We're today we're gonna unbox the Elder Crone new quick release one. Uh, first thing you'll notice, a very slick modern box. I love it. We're gonna open it up, see what we got inside. We have the manual card instead of uh, all those flappy papers they just give you a card that has a link to the website that will show you how to do it uh, Allen wrench and of course the quick release plate you'll see it it has a, a quarter inch thread on top and a hole for a quarter inch thread on the bottom very nice doesn't weigh that much a couple ounces now what I don't like about these uh, manual cards is that for me the link hasn't always worked I don't know why so I'm just going to show you how to do it anyway. You first need to flip the camera over. And uh, that hole on the bottom, you're just going to line that up with your thread on top of the uh, quick release plate. And once you got that lined up, you just tighten it with your Allen wrench. It doesn't take long, just a few turns. Make sure it's tight. Now this outside part should still be able to move around. And that's what you're going to use to attach it to other quick release plates. So let's take a tripod. My tripod here. We have the quick release uh, plate on top already on the head. So we're going to take our quick release one, and we're just going to put that on there. All you got to do is set it on, and uh, you spin the little quick release one clockwise, and it goes on. I don't know why I had it sideways, but there you go. Very sturdy. I trust it on my camera. Let's take it off just counterclockwise and pull off now let's try this on our manfrotto head attached to our elder crone slider now before oh let's get this on there so once you line it up if you know how to line it up right apparently i don't this hole put it in the hole twist and it's on and the uh slide this around you can see that it's, it's very stable i trust it now, before my philosophy was uh, for quick release plates to just buy from the same company, which for me, I loved uh, Manfrotto. That way it was easier to switch products. But now a quick release one made it way easier. So let's, uh, let's try again. Maybe you are going on vacation. You travel a lot and you need a light tripod. First of all, I, I would say the Manfrotto is pretty light but you need a lighter tripod I'd recommend a good travel agent and this baby right here is my pro line it's very uh, small uh, very light so we'll get this out and uh, we'll attach our quick release one to it I really use this tripod mainly for photography but uh, occasionally videos there's the thread I'll just attach it on like like always just a quick twist and we'll test it out and you see that it is very stable I trust it and just another quick uh, turn counterclockwise to take it off now I want to put this baby to the real test which is a DIY uh, stabilizer here it's just basically pipes um, a weight and then a block of wood with a quarter inch screw threaded through top now before you'd always have to just thread the camera through but hopefully the quick release one will make that easier now I'm getting it on there but it doesn't it doesn't tighten all the way but it, it got enough where it was stable but you can see there's still some loose room and I believe that's because the thread you know comes out of the wood way too too high so it doesn't really tighten but I still able to trust it onto the uh, on the stabilizer mess around it held pretty well. It wasn't until I started shaking it vigorously that you can start to see the camera start to twist. But I believe that's just, I believe, my thread. Alright, now I don't recommend using cheap tripods like this $20 tripod or this tabletop tripod because the quick release plates, you know, they're, they're pretty small, the thread. So it's kind of, you had to take it off and do it like the normal way. I was able to get it onto this tripod. It's just, it's very unstable. I don't feel, you know, that I would use that. So, there's the quick release plate by Eldercrone. Now, uh, if you this found this helpful, 
please like, comment, subscribe, and go. Uh, I'll provide a link. You go check Elder Crone out. For the $140 price tag, it's well worth it uh, for me. That way you can stop switching plates. But if it is out of your budget, um, you don't have to get it.